it's you and I. Hey, I hope you guys are all doing well. It's August 6th today. We're, uh, we're just driving to Revelstoke. We're gonna go fish uh, Lake Revelstoke, which is just, um, it's kind of like an upper damned area uh, of Arrow Lakes. If you ever fish that, it's a really great fishery. You should definitely check it out sometime. Yeah, it's Mara Lake uh, parking lot right there. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna, get to Revelstoke and probably get on the lake and hopefully catch some fish. It should be a really good day. Lake Revelstoke is such a beautiful place. So I'll, uh, I'll see you guys when we get there or if I see anything interesting, I'll turn the camera on. Wow. So I guess that's Three Valley Gap uh, Chateau or Ghost Town. It's a chateau on the front, but Stephanie said it also said ghost town. There's a bunch of old crap out there. So, looks pretty cool, but I don't know. There's probably a boat launch around here somewhere. There wasn't a lot of boats down there, so less pressure on those fish. Oh, damn. Here's a better look at uh, like Flora did in my boat. And the pod. And Stephanie. Oh, the boat ramp's really nice here. There's only one side to it, but it's so nice. And it's like, it's super deep and the water's so clear. Still not where the fish are. I'm, I'm never where the fish are. I don't know. No matter how hard I try, they're either above me or below me. You know what's so great about this lake is that it's like there's nobody here. There's just no people. It's the best. It's so hard to find a lake like this that there's nobody at it. Like, I'm not having a whole lot of luck. Um, I probably should have fished off the boat ramp because near boat launches and that stuff, there's always a lot of fish, I find. It's funny, I, I do so much traveling, like I, I get from the boat ramp and then I leave. I try and go somewhere far and explore. Like I've gone, I've gone pretty stinking far from the boat ramp. I'm not even sure how far, I just, just started ripping. <laughs> Stephanie finally hooked up on a fish. That is a beautiful coconut. We will eat it. Oh my god. And it's okay dinner. 
That's awesome. You're ridiculous. Stop resisting. The V in his tail. She's 14 and a half. Yeah. Well, we're rolling up on the campsite where the boat launches, and it's getting dark, and I don't like loading the boat in the dark. So we're gonna meander over to the launch and get off the water tonight, but we'll be back tomorrow. Sunday, August 7th. This will be our last day here. Um, we're going to get on the lake pretty soon here. We just got to pack up and get in the truck and go. Um, I think we're only about 20 minutes or so from the boat ramp. So I'll uh, turn it back on when we get there. A little moment with you. Little moment with you. A little moment with you. I work these hands every day and night. They feel better when they're holding you. The way you smile in a certain light, well, that's all you need to do. If there's one thing that I could never lose, a little moment with you. A little moment with you. It's gonna carry me through A little moment with you A little moment with you Stephanie thought she had a fish on for like the last, I don't know maybe four minutes or so. And I was like, don't pull up unless you know you have a fish on, but I guess you've just been dragging this light bastard. Doesn't weigh much. Uh, I'm put him in the net. Uh, I don't even know how long that is. It's a 12 inch kokanee. It's kind of a fatty, hey? Yeah. Nice fish. Well, I stole Stephanie's fish. So this here is a kokanee. It's, um, you can see right here, this is kokanee landlocked sockeye, uh, whatever that nonsense means. Um, but so these tiny little things are just tiny ones of, where's, these are the sockeyes on this row here. I don't think the camera focuses that close. Um, but yeah, they're just tiny little freshwater sockeye salmon. They're like personal sized salmons and they're so fresh and so clean and easy to clean. They're amazing, they're the best. So what we're doing here is uh, we're fishing super shallow. Like I'm kind of kind of dragging bottom and then um, you see like I'm getting close to bottom and I get a little bit spooked, I turn away and then it starts leveling out and going back down and then I kind of turn back into it a little bit. Yeah. See? So I'm just following this drop off over here on all these points, hitting all the points. And there's tons of fish. I've seen a bunch of fish come up and uh, check out our lures on here. Like you can watch them go up and down and follow it for a while. But um, 
I don't think I have the right lure on for those kind of fish, whatever they are, whether they're dollies or whatever. Or maybe I'm not going the right speed. Um, but I'm not really fishing for them, I'm fishing for kokanee. But it's weird, I've noticed that I didn't see a lot of kokanee in the middle of the lake right now at this time, and it's pretty windy, so it's actually a little bit nicer closer to shore. Um, there's also a lot less logs to avoid because this lake has a lot of like trees. A lot of trees in the water just down in the middle of the lake just floating around. Wow. Every once in a while it gets a little sketchy being this close, like dragging so close to the bottom there, but I see a lot of fish down there, so. You see that there? I, uh, I, I tap bottom with the downrigger just a little bit. Just, just, just a little. Oh, look what that guy's doing. and cook here. I've never tried doing it before so I think I'm gonna have to cut it in half. First off, first things first, I've uh, got a little kokanee here. This has been working out pretty good for catching these fish. Um, yeah, maybe I'll get this, uh, get this going. I've only ever used this thing one time before, and it was actually on this lake uh, back. How long ago was that, Stephanie? Uh, I think two years. Two years ago. It's quite a while. Dirty old fillet board over here. I'm, uh, being super food safe, as you can tell. Just gonna. Look at that meat. Because these kokanee are just landlocked salmons. Landlocked sockeye salmon. They're just absolutely incredible. Seems like a lot of butter, but I don't know. Richard's using garlic butter. Yeah. Yeah, this is a melted stick of garlic butter. Here we go, back at it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this lemon pepper salt free seasoning. Stephanie says this is what she does. Make sure I get a little bit of that. Side. That's just the end. Seems like a lot. What? Put more on the skin. Stephanie's got her hand in the air doing this. She's telling me what to do, but... <laughs> and I found some Old Bay seasoning. It seems to be pretty dang good. I ever see why everybody likes it. I'm gonna...
tried some of this old base on old day seasoning on um, on the what was the Chinook salmon that we caught out of Campbell River, and it was really it was great. So may as well try it on these, right? Heat a little bit. It wasn't still going. How do you guys? Uh, how do you guys like to cook your coconut? Seems like everybody has something. Stephanie's dad really likes to make um, make bagels, and she like he smokes the coconut, and he does like he smokes so much coconut, he does an incredible job, and just makes bagels, cream cheese, puts the smoked coconut on it, and then puts a bunch of capers on it and uh, onion, and it's it's incredible. It's just a great great morning. I love going over to Alan's house for breakfast. It's a good time. I don't want it to not be ready though. Okay. Eat the Should I try the smaller one? Yeah. I'm just gonna leave that bigger one on there. I'm trying not to tip that pan off. Oh wow, mistakes have been made. Oh, I think it's just a little soft. Is it? That's good. Think so? <laughs> looks a little mushy. Stephanie was wrong. That fish tastes a little bit. Not taste. The taste was good. The texture was weird. Okay, the fifth, the taste was also kind of weird. So, uh, it's safe to say it's still pretty, uh, pretty raw. Stephanie, what do you say? Should I put more butter on it? Should I do anything? No, just let it cook. Should I drink more beer? Should I put beer on it? No. Sure, put some beer on it. I think that was a questionable decision, but we won't know until it's done. If Kokanee pairs with Kokanee. <laughs> what I really want right now is some asparagus to go with this. I I gotta put that barbecue on the boat. Because if I can make some asparagus right now, just have some tin foil, some asparagus, and some like baby potatoes cut up. Oh man. This could just be an incredible meal. Yeah. Look at the handle of the pan so I can see inside of it. Looks good. And the skin's peeling off, so I wonder if it's getting close to being done again. <laughs> Did you say close to being done again? Yep. <laughs> you mean <laughs> close to Richard testing it again? <laughs> Our fish only takes a couple minutes to tie Okay, well, try it again. Stephanie says try it again. I'll, I'll do it again. I don't
Oh yeah, like, look at the... Just the way it peels apart. Oh yeah. That's so salmon-y. Yeah, that's cooked. I don't know about that bigger piece, but this is perfect. Oh, you see the way that flaked off? That's that's just a bit of the fish's fat from behind the skin. Oh, I wish you guys could try this. This is amazing. And I wish I had some asparagus and some small potatoes and a better cooking situation. <laughs> um, well, I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this. First attempt at making a bit of a catch and cook. I know people love that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, I think you guys should try and get out here to Revelstoke. It's, it's beautiful out here. If you do stay out here, you should go to the Hillcrest, I'm telling you. Like, that, that's where I went, and I loved it. It was so nice. The bathroom was incredible. I'm out here, and I am so clean and so well rested. I don't know. I feel like a, I feel like a hotel commercial right now. I don't know. I'm so happy I wasn't camping. <laughs> I mean, you know, do what you want though. Camping's not my deal. Anyways, talk to you guys next time. Those tiny salmons. This is the best. <laughs> Let's see if this how would I get this to come off of the bone? I'm actually really curious about what that tastes like. Just the way it crumbled, it just kind of seemed really tasty. I don't know. Should I try it? Can you try it? shiny. I feel like I'm tasting, maybe it's just in my head, but it seems very tin foily. I'll split this right down this little line. Looks like there's a line in the fish. I'm and try and separate it from the bones. I think it's cooked perfectly. Bone came right out.